you have safe lane monkey game, maybe even run uh, monkey. <laughs> it really is, especially if they get into. You know, not going to be able to spot out the sentry place by Miposhka in that large camp, so no pulling for Seamus whatsoever. And already very low and forced to use a salve under his tower. Up at top, looks like Kiritik, yeah, getting a stun and a bit of damage onto Mira. Turns around to fight, but FNG, the one to get first blood, and maybe a double? second one. The double kill for FNG, plus four int stolen? Oh, I, I did not expect it. that. The game is going to be stacking ancients and large camps for the Beastmaster. And oh, no. Careful, oh god, oh god, the creeps are coming. One stack is successful, but the sentry will placed in the large camp will at least top block as well. that one. Action. Top silencer, FNG. Yeah, dies. Collapse out there with a the scorched earth. Jump Doom plus Snapfire. They are quite strong and they don't have a single point in Devourer, by the way. So this is a oh. more lane focused uh, build by Collapse. Not going greedy. Yeah, so FNG got that double kill first blood. Let's try and turn it back on them, but another plus. Yeah, I guess the second sentry down. D wards the one that was placed by the Cottle who was looking to D ward the camps. And actually, a move from Mira down here as well as Collapse getting gone on top. FNG and Kiritix realizing Collapse is all alone. And down at bottom, they do move in, but they missed the Scatter Blast, so they can't get the start really going on notice. Who's already under his tower? Yatero diving. Trying to find the grab on the Beastmaster, but now in comes Squadix! Straight on top of the Monkey King and slay Yatero! VP in full control of this first 10 minutes or so of the laning stage. Yeah, Mira as well. Gonna have to try and hide here, he doesn't have TP yet. Wisdom runes. Oh, sorry. FNG, careful. grabbing the left side, Sayosh taking the right hand side, Mira does get the kill, and the Doom getting charged at, collapse in trouble. CK and Sans are both on the left side of the map, taking him down, and double Wisdom runes for VP. Yeah, big wins here for VP, and a lot of that comes down to a little bit of over-aggression bottom. Monkey King, Yato getting too close there. Gives away some nice gold. They go again bottom, though. Trying one more time. Failing. Yeah, it's been a bit off the mark, but Yato, you know, we, we know how big of a deal it is taking both of them, especially the first pair. Uh, even more important though it feels that Team Spirit lose out when Snap and Pugna feel like heroes that desperately need level 6 as Neposhka, nowhere near level 6, gets taken out by FNG. Squadex bodyguarding, trying to back up his silencer, but he will die in the end to lol. And Mir Great farming tool once you get it. I think his Vanguard was too late if he wanted to go Vanguard for laning stage. Monkey King doesn't really care too much about Vanguard as well, he just keeps hitting. And top rune spot, another fight. Mira Snapfire still level 5, so Scorda is going to make short work of her, trying to get Mortimer over the cliff. Greeting the Aghanim Scepter. It was curious in lane, I think he could have bought the point booster earlier to get some value, but obviously it was a position he made mid. Yeah, with the global silence over the top, they've got CK and Void Spirit just picking off LOL. Like we were watching Team Spirit farming a few camps themselves, but three heroes jungling while your storm dies, Team Spirit just seem completely lost in this. Miposhka yeah. is still level 5. Snapfire has finally Wukong? hit 6. They do have Wukong's onto the CK, trying to get their stuns to land perfectly, and there's the Doom to oh. secure the kill. Uh, Make yeah. damn sure he dies. Oh, he's definitely dead. <laughs> King makes a lot of sense against the illusions this game, but yeah, I agree with you that it feels like Spirit are just playing a bit slow. Now, as I say that, of course, they make a rotation bottom unnoticed. Can, can they kill him? Nice moves. He's dancing around, still little ballerina beastmaster. Still dead. Yeah, you're right. That, that means he won't be top, though. If there's a big fight top now, it could be really bad for VP. I mean, very close to Radiance and very close odds, as we saw just then. And Yatsuro. Oh, fakes out the bound of strike. Phantasm's out. And Kiritik is trying to stand his ground and fight. The Storm Ball's in. And Team Spirit, they strike. While the iron is hot, and FNG getting run out by five heroes and a great <laughs> hurricane dragging back into the waiting arms of... Mira. And I'm probably gonna top up lol. Uh, going down real low for this. Maybe what you need against Pugna is pick Zeus and then just wait for him to heal someone to low HP and then zap him as he does. You know, he's on Beastmaster now because this drum with 20 charges, it just wipes creep waves so fast. He's coming top now. He wants to fight. Hmm, FNG. <laughs> Squadix and Sayash in position already to snipe out Miposhka. That's going to send Team Spirit packing. Oh, Radiance like, has done okay, a monkey. You don't need me. I'm going back to bottom lane. Uh, siege up the tower instead. Yeah, they see everything. It'll come through the twin gate now. Monkey King thinking about the Wukongs. Good spirit there. Gets the remnant down onto Monkey and drag him across into the Illuminate. Roar. 
Catching Pogna, a bonus kill, cherry on top. Radiance bottom. Oh, this beautiful playing. tempo. Just farming up their CK. They're not really ready for a 5v5 fight. Just don't have their own carry around. They don't see anyone on the side lane, so they're playing a bit careful, but might on Pogna. Gonna try and catch him out first. It's Void Spirit, he's straight on and on him. Eposhka dead, lols, it's to notice. Wukong's is out, FNG running back from the Radiance Burn. Noticed, very tanky, doomed up, but standing and fighting, and Lol oh. gonna feel the pain from the drums of Slum. Yatra uh. will finally claim his life, but a double kill for Noticed coming out there. A healing Lotus available on Storm, and he died to a doomed Beastmaster only. That was definitely a big mistake. Yeah, not respecting the slum damage. And Mira getting jumped by Squaddix. He does have another astral step to get over the top of the Snapfire. Shackered no, up not. and continually in fight. Something by just like <laughs> prospecting aura goblin following you around. You can gain no gold while under the effect of this aura. Okay, aura. maybe it'll be. <laughs> up at top, noticed. And he's going to find the grab onto the Monkey King. Yatro all alone up there. To Roche. Quote. Stolen Tormentor. VP mm -hmm. grab Coddle. that and Monkey King. He's been jumped again. This Void Spirit causing serious problem for Yatoro. He'll try with the Wukongs to defend himself, but see, oh, CK just comes in and swipes him. I think a pack a punch. VP right now looking at enemy high ground though. Catapult wave, Aegis in hand. Squadix has had so much freedom this game. 606, pretty much untouched. Just to dive into enemy back lines and go straight onto Meposhka like he's been doing the entire match. What? Snipes him out. Dead for 30. <laughs> not respect. <laughs> Speedily whacking away. And notice stuck or well, hidden away in a pocket here with Kiritus nearby. Looking for the smoke movement from Spirit. Expecting it coming thanks to Hawk Vision. Global Silence going to stop the kisses and Storm Spirit grabbed into the remnant, roared up as well. The damage is coming quickly from CK. Cookie across. Still Maybe they can get Lol out of here. He's dead though. But he's back now and Yatro with his BKB Wukongs. Noticed is inside. Doomed up, but he's tanky. Beastmaster not really feeling too bad about this. He's tanked all the spells and the rest of his te team can come in and clear up. The Doom, Snapfire, Monkey King. They got a good couple of stuns on the Curatage and Squad X, but Yatero burnt down and destroyed by this Void Spirit. Now noticed out of the Doom, turns back and kills off Mira while Collapse is left stranded by his team. Lol bought back, jumps in and dies. A die back from him and probably game over. They're gonna call it, right? That's just it. They're all going down here and Coddle healing his squad back up. And this just looks so one-sided for VP. Dominating this fight, a lot of it on the back of this Void Spirit who had Aegis the entire fight and still didn't go down a single time. The split focus was just unreal. That's Megas. Still no sign of Spirit either defending or calling GG here. They just want to play against Megas. Okay, well, there it is. Okay. Storm, is, Storm is like, I'm, I'm, I'm respawning in three seconds, guys. We want one, more, one more fight? Nah, just call it. VP, beautiful stuff. Victory in... Beautiful stuff. And, uh, and again, it's like a flex here as well. Like you, you're saying... This game on. <laughs> I think uh, it did provide them with a bit of good lockdown disable here and a lot of AOE damage against them. But they're fighting back. They use the metamorphosis as well to try and do as much damage as they can. Not that they're buffing up anyone on the side lanes, but... Oh, uh, Techies jumps in. Yeah, and Onslaught forward from Collapse, looking for FNG, does get the kill. Mira trying to skirt around the trees, but the Terror Blade is there with a reflection and this Metamorphosis. Getting some good damage onto him. Chipping away at Collapse. Definitely. And for now though, Bloodseeker is doing a great job. He has the early upgraded stick, so he has 15 charges on uh, the magic stick here. And while Beastmaster has done a lot of uh, harassing with his axes, a lot of that is just mitigated oh, by the heal time. bottom lane. Precious bounty. Yeah. TV doesn't want to give all these creeps away for free here. Sticks around to try and get some nice under tower. Yeah, so why doesn't... Oh, hang on. So they're just going to go in on him. Blast off and uh, trample there. Mira does die. Kiritik staying alive. The raindrops and the one charge is enough to keep him alive. And Kalei dies to an FNG double kill. Oh, he stays alive. The grenade. And because of that, TB survives, stays alive here, gets healed up, passed a little bit of region, and he's going to be so happy with that. Miposhka with a backstab through the twin gate. Sticky bomb, fortune's end, and that purifying flames at level two is enough burst damage this time around. Well, I was going to ask... And uh, also Enchantress, pretty strong here early on. Yatra now making a move down bottom. They want to get TB again. 
can't the keep Boschka down here. Oh, TB is in danger, maybe. Dar Observer Ward. They keep vision on him. Onslaught, Blood Right, Kiritic in trouble with a blast off landing. Mira gets. Commence from the helm. I'll try and spread that map a bit more. We can definitely open things up. If you avoid spread with a bit of space. Of course, you want that. An ability to buy time for Terrorblade to farm. As Enchantress pulls off the Pango's courier. And it'll flap its wings back to safety as Mira tries to line a blast off on and gets it as FNG clipped by the stun, killed off by the bomb. Another freebie pick off there for Team Spirit. This is Team Spirit coming in in a way better way into this game than last one mid now. Looking for a rupture. Yeah, one astral step. Ether Remnant down. But there's smoke wraparound from the rest of the team. Gonna allow the Rolling Thunder to crash onto Squadix and finish him off. No point getting on top of people. And playing Notice. very quickly from one side of the map to the other. Yeah, now they're up top, aiming for notice. Sticky Bomb and the Blast Off are there from Mira. Slow him down and catch him out. He roars back, but the Proxy Mines will finish him off. That was just clumsy. He's, he saw the smoke. They had Vision on the three-man smoke from Mira. And the Void Spirit and the Terror Blade, but as the game drags out, it's starting to feel like it's just going to be the Terror Blade who can stand and fight. And Collapse is here. moved in onto this Wisdom Rune. TV does come in to battle around it. False Promise on Primal Beast to save him a bye at a time as he cancels out the life drain on Sayosh's Pugna. Now the Rolling Thunder from Lal will arrive, crashing in onto Pugna as well, but Squad X has been able to fight back along with his TB. A double kill for Lal, but two... There's nobody down here. Team Spirit are angling towards the Terror Blade. Might come into contact with FNG first, and then Poshka, and he's going to show himself now. FNG still didn't find this ward. This is a ward on the cliff. The most most obvious ward, sometimes the hardest one to find, I guess. As he goes out, <laughs> clears the ancient block that was also there, but he hasn't removed this ward that just sees the entire triangle. Yeah, he's going to have to realize soon. Ward long. Trying to push in onto Sayush, but... Oh, bottom kill as well. Yeah, you're right. Yatero dead. And multiple fights that just can't see more. The list list has to end there, you know. So yeah, he's just keeping this Yasha as a Yasha? Uh, for now, yeah. Sayush, oh dear. Team Spirit, again, just playing with numbers, making sure that they have that initiation advantage. Get everybody on top of these supports. As FNG's enchanter will try and glimmer away, but the swashbuckle offers so much. One push mid tower. FNG. Courier sniping. Oh, he's in, in danger now. To yeah, pop smokes and break Ow. ganks. Ow. Oh my Ow. god. Oh my god. He's dead. <laughs> Arm Ancients not really being contested as heavily as they were previously. Collapse. Gonna TP up top. Try and put an end to this nonsense. Decrap oh, glimmer. Dust. Counteracted by a dust. Yeah, core hero carrying dust. Feels good, man. And Sayosh get pummeled down by the Primal Beast with a Pulverize to finish it off. 50 seconds for Meta. Okay. Team Spirit should just ball in. They should go immediately here. No hesitation. Straight high ground. Off we go. TB does have a DD rune. I'll try and make a move on Yatero. First life gone. Huge oh. damage. No but Collapse has a grab. Void Spirit gets away from it. And Yatero, this Bloodseeker, he's popped his BKB, but still kind of stuck around this high ground area. Needs the wrong thunder to zone away Virtus Pro. A VP, they've, they've made that hold. That's it. Team Spirit got to run away. I think so. That was a little bit slow there from Miposhka, not getting the false promise out there. Didn't Look, it works. Void Spirit's in. Gets a grab on Lull. Little ball up to swashbuckle by a bit of time. They do make the jump on FNG and slay the Enchantress. And they have Roar again. It's just off cooldown now. They could blink Roar, but... There it is. Onto the Yatero Bloodseeker. The save, though, comes in from the Oracle. TB, BKB, Method, but the Pulverize stops him in his tracks. Make sure he can't kill the Bloodseeker off immediately. Collapse going to get slowed down a little bit, but Team Spirit, they've outlasted this. They're back on the notice. Nullifier slows down Collapse. They've killed the Beastmaster off, and another Rolling Thunder for Lull on top of the TB. Might allow the rest of Spirit to collapse in on him. But Verse Pro doing a good job at disengaging, separating the team fight. They're still losing their barracks, though. Yeah, Rupture again comes out. Oh, yeah, with a Pulverize, they're going to kill him off. TB's down, has buyback available, but this one might be called. Beastmaster buys out, dead immediately after. And Team Spirit... Seconds, Beastmaster. 40 seconds for the meta. Yeah, TB just doesn't feel like the same kind of hero without his real ultimate ability. Ruptured up yet again, so he has to stand his ground while Squadex has gone a little deep there. Slain by the Pulverize. 
Tried to find Maposka in the back, but in comes Yatero. Sundered out by Kiritic, but as Terra Blade just going to have to cower in the fountain while your throne is being imploded by Team Spirit. Fountain diving a little bit, poking away at the Enchantress and Pugna. Mira Lal Yatero <laughs> toying with the TV. They're going to roar on the Bloodseeker, but the throne is dead. GG. Uh, not that easy to find. Bottom rune looks like there's going to be a fight. VP ready from the high ground to get on top of Collapse. Realizes the bounty rune is not worth it, but he has oh. gone level 1 Shockwave already, and Blinding Light will push him back into them. A bit more damage required, and the Blood Grenade will help out to try and get first blood here for Squadix, the mid laner. Well, you can't really ask for much more than what he's been doing so far, though. Good job. And, uh... Nice. F and G. I mean, yeah, he's got the full wand. And the blood grenade still to go. FNG really wants level 3. And Collapse. Another shockwave skewer. This time under tower. And Kiritik in a lot of trouble. Just getting blasted down. He realizes this is a losing fight. And he'd rather just trade as best he can against the Magnus while he dies. Eddie dominating. Yeah, and still a long way to go until level 6 on this Ember. So. But FNG's dead again. And Mira and Collapse really partnering up very well here in game three. Yeah, doing a great job. Mira just continuously right clicking into. Guarding the stacks, the most important thing on the map. Yeah, but they haven't little... achieved any yet, so it's a good job stopping it mid. Yeah, I mean, Koffel came in to refill Squad X, pops his wand, runs it back. And still being chased down by Mira here with the Arcane Bolts. So that should finish him off. Mira dead. Ooh! Ooh. Squad X. Doesn't kill Squad X. And he placed an observer ward right in front of the tower. I don't know. Jump through the bolts. Not dying to the Coddle or the Skywrath. They're overcommitted. Now he comes back. And yeah, the slight. Illuminate. Lol. Still level 5. Can't escape. Squadix with some outplays. Uh, man. He, he's pulling out some good moves right now. I really love what I'm seeing here. Not Vanguard yet. Yeah, I, I wonder now. Is he not just going to go for it? He's queued up treads. I don't They're going to get gone on still. Skewer back with a sticky bomb. Mira trying to help out onto the CK. Shockwave and the death of the Magnus. I'm confused, actually. Uh, I'm not sure. Power. Illuminate flies across. Kiritich still in a spot of danger. Mira unloading a lot of magic damage and silencing him up, but both him and FNG will survive. Super low HP, though. And they come in with the Ember. Oh, yeah. Quick snipe on the Skarath Mage. Places Great. an Observer Ward in his dying breath. Like a grin. Storm Team Spirit hasted. putting some emphasis on the bottom lane. Yes. Yeah. I hate the storm down here, and FNG's pretty low. Twin Gate is available. Skewer in. Collapse. I'm thinking about the RP. And the Storm Spirit gonna simply take down the Keeper of the Light. Well, the RP is expended. Kiritic being bullied back. A good blast off from FNG with a roar on the storm. I don't know the if they've got the damage to kill him. Lol, this time around, we're going to ball down to low ground and TP out. Well, the CK dies and Skyrim's mage is going to find FNG. Clean up. A double kill for Mira. Notice, chuck some axes at them, but he's already TP'd out. Back to his tier one. Yeah. Squad it. Fury. It's working his way there. For now, TP. Ember on mid lane getting jumped. Yeah, they do get the Ancient Seal on him as well, so that allows the Storm to open up a bit more damage and finish him off. Oh, now it's closely timed. Dice to the uh, Pogna level 1 ward. He tried to activate his Rem. And not just from one angle. Yatro from the southeast, but you also see these two Smoke Spirit heroes. Three, in fact, of the Storm. Looking to grab Squadix, but he remnants away quickly. This time he's out of there until Lol makes the secondary jump, but Squadix doesn't have another escape mechanism, leading to a kill on Sayush too. Again, dies to that Pugna ward. Always trying to jump out in the last second, Oof. activating the fire remnant, but dying to the damage. Last two engagements, he just barely got brought down, but this time gets away. Storm though, back to full mana again from the service of the Pugna. I mean, I, I just jump on Squadix once more. Concussive shots flying, doesn't go to him, but the storm zips in, finds yet another kill. Techie's in trouble now as another ball lightning gets Lala a bit of distance. In the river though, the CK, aiming for Mira. FNG picked off and the Skyrath doesn't die. Mira's still alive, they're hunting for Lala in the back. Wild <laughs> Notice. is out of notice, finally putting his nonsense to an end. Notice just adds a storm spirit to his farm rotation here. He's going <laughs> Smoke again. Who are they gonna find? He's low HP on the beasts. 
Half health, and look at the storm right on top of him. No time to roar. Killed off quickly. And an invisible Mystic Flare, as we love to see. But he's making sure he's getting farm and denying Jug from his. Yeah, I think it's, it's probably important that you start doing something more active than just farming on CK. As we see, a pick off top and Pugna. They get something going there. Something that's um, not Manta safety. Basically, Beastmaster, BKB piercing. Uh, Manta doesn't save you. You want status rest. That's off the spin. Roar is there. Fine. A bit of physical damage. It looks like Yatra is okay. Omni Slash at the ready and a Storm Zip in allows the Juggernaut to get on top of Notice. Clear through him and FNG caught out as well. Squadix does look towards Yatro and kills him off with Kiratich, but lol. Out of mana now. Turned around on by the rest of VP. Bombs are dropped. Two core kills potentially coming. The Blink RP from Collapse though. Back and forth in this fight. Getting a little bit sloppy though. As VP the ones to look to All retreat, but Mira's there with a backstab silence. Kills off another. And That's look, three core kills. Look, he's just been like clearing waves and being a nuisance. Yeah, he's scouting with the couriers too. He finds him now. <laughs> Hello. Blast off. Has a TP and he's going to try it, but lol is on his tail. Not happy about FNG and his sneaky shenanigans <laughs> here. He's stopping them from pushing tower, right? He's killing the creep. Yeah, smoke from Spirin. Troll and close in on notice. Another long zip from lol. Gets on top of the Beastmaster. And easy as you like. I'm gonna spin him down. Doesn't even bother spending the raw. Just pops the pipe him into large camp. Trying to force VP to make a decision. A long zip across Squadic. Cancels his TP. Courier down and Lal low mana. High ground still being pushed by Yatero. And they're one TP down. A remnant out from Squadic. Does get him a bit of distance. But look at Collapse. He's there with a skewer. And the silence perfectly done. Predicts the movement. Gets on top of him. And you're losing your barracks to Yatero at top. Yeah, he's just calmly hitting base here. He got tier 3. He got range racks. Meanwhile, he, his team is also winning the team fight. But Find Arcane FNG. Rune Storm, though. Don't have vision, but he can oh, zip in. yeah. One zip, two zip. A three zip and Beastmaster caught out. Ancient Seal is coming. Not a chance in the world for Notice to get out of here. Yeah, and top him off with a bit of drain here, Pugna. What a cringe. Yatero. Dragged back by Realized Rift and yeah, no fucks given. They drag Kiritage out of the base. Glimmer kept up for the meantime. Collapse was thinking about re reverse polarity in there, but. He's holding on for a bigger move. Meanwhile, lol, has found FNG. Two heroes down on VP side, and again, their base being pushed in. Yeah, the spirits, they're still... Oh, committed Hello. to the Omni, but Glimmer stops that. Mm, get some out of there. Tier 3 still in danger, though. The reality from Kiritich, Phantasm out at half HP. The illusions disappear, and now collapse. Gets himself a little Harpoon Skewer playing, but the BKB's up for the CK now. Tanking through a lot of this damage with this Crimson Guard, ward. though. Collapse has the Healing Ward, and now an RP onto the two of them. Yatro can cleave them into pieces. Ember's dead for 45 with no buyback, and Beastmaster is in serious danger. All three cores are down, and I don't see any way you stop this. And same for VP. They just say GG. You have bested us this time.